When you insert a block that contains attributes, there's a system variable that controls how the program prompts you for the attribute data. By default, the program displays a dialog box whenever you insert a block that contains attributes. For example, when I insert a block, after I specify where the block will be inserted, the program displays an Edit Attributes dialog, offering a very intuitive way of entering attribute data. Notice that I can see three fields that correspond to the three attributes, the phone number, the username, and the department. And I can enter this information in whatever order I want. So I'll enter the username, Matt, the phone number, 8676858, and then the department, design. Once I finish entering the data, I just click OK. The display of the Edit Attributes dialog is controlled by the system variable ATTDIA, which stands for Attribute Dialog. By default, this variable has a value of 1, which means that the dialog is turned on. If I change this value to 0, however, notice that now if I insert another instance of the block, after I specify the insertion point, the program prompts me at the command line or alongside the cursor in the dynamic input field to enter the attribute values and I must respond to each prompt in the order in which the prompts appear. Since this is not as intuitive as using the dialog, I'll press Escape to cancel the command and then change the ATTDIA value back to 1 so that the program always uses the Edit Attributes dialog to prompt me for attribute values. There is another setting that is sometimes useful when working with attributes. This block actually contains three attributes, the phone number, username, and department. But we can only see the phone number and username. That's because the department attribute was defined as an invisible attribute. If you want to see all of the attributes, expand the block panel on the Insert ribbon, click the Retain Attribute Display button, and choose Display All Attributes. This causes all attributes to become visible regardless of their visibility setting the next time you regenerate the drawing, which you can do by simply typing RE and pressing Enter. Note that when you change the display in this way, if you plot your drawing, all of the attributes you see will be printed, even if they were defined as invisible attributes. You can also hide all attributes, even those that were defined as visible. To do this, expand the block panel, expand the list, and choose Hide All Attributes. The next time you regenerate your drawing, all of the attributes will disappear. If you were to plot your drawing at this point, none of the attributes would be printed. To set the display back so that only visible attributes are visible and invisible attributes are invisible, expand the list, choose Retain Attribute Display, and then regenerate the drawing again.